Only one in ten of the original settlers is left. John Rolfe didn't come to plunder and leave like the others. He's got his own plan. There's money in tobacco, and England is addicted. He's arrived with a supply of South American tobacco seeds, but growing it is limited to the Spanish colonies. The Spanish control the worldwide trade, Selling tobacco seeds to foreigners is punishable by death. But John Rolfe has got his hands on some. No one knows how. And in the warm, humid climate and fertile soil around the Chesapeake Bay, Rolfe's tobacco crop flourishes. The first large harvest produced by these seeds is worth more than a million dollars in today's money. For the great strength of America is our people. If you want to know what is the defining strength of America, it is our people, our immigrant tradition, our bringing in cultures from all over the world. I know what goes into making success. And when somebody's really successful, it's rarely luck. It's talent, it's brain power, it's lots of other things. Ralph marries the daughter of the king of the Powhatan Empire. Her name becomes legend. Pocahontas. In England, Ralph makes her a celebrity when her face is put on a portrait that sells all over London, advertising life in the new world. Shakespeare mentions the colony. England's rich invest money here. All of London knows about this land of plenty. Within two years, tobacco grows in every garden. From a living hell, Jamestown is America's first boom town. Two years later, nearly a thousand more settlers arrive, including 19 from West Africa. Slaves. But some go on to own their own land in Virginia. Twelve years after the founding of Jamestown, Africans were playing a shaping role in the creation of the colonies. That's pretty incredible. Thirty years later, there are over 20,000 settlers in Virginia. America is founded on tobacco. For the next century and a half, it's the continent's largest export.